Captain Rob Bearden from the Duck Street Fire Department. Today we're going to take you along to one of our training exercises. Come on over this way. up in a hydrant. Have you ever wondered where we get our water from? Come on. Let's check it out. So the engine just showed up. The driver's getting out. The passenger's all geared up, ready to go. He's going to start getting the equipment to hook up the hydrant. Come on over. We'll check it out. We have a firefighter on the back. He's taking off the big hose. He's going to help the other firefighter who's over here. Get the hydrant all hooked up. Hooking up the hydrant, they have tools to take off the caps, they have connectors. Firefighter's gonna wrap the hydrant with the hose, and then the driver's gonna drive the engine down the road as the hose comes off. Let's walk this way, we'll follow and see what happens. Now the engine's gonna go down towards where we're training. If you notice, we're at the Chandler School. Just like you kids come here to learn, we come here to train also, so we can get better at our job. Captain's guide, guide the engine where to, where to go. There's the firefighter, he's still hooking up the hydrant over here. This all takes time. Firefighter parks the engine. Come over and check out the size of this. This hose fills the engine up. So the engine has 750 gallons of water, but that doesn't last all that long. So we use the hydrant to fill the engine up. The engine driver puts down chalk blocks so the engine doesn't go anywhere. Come on over, let's look at the hydrant. Over here, the firefighter's hooking up the hydrant. The firefighter hooks up a hydrant assist valve. This allows us to get water from the hydrant to the engine. As one firefighter is still hooking up the hydrant, the engine driver is deploying a hand line. Multiple firefighters, they stretch the hole. Today, their target is over there. It's a cone with a tennis ball on it. So the goal is to get the water out here and knock that off. Now the firefighters are working together to take the large hose. It's called large diameter hose. And they're gonna hook that into the engine. That way we can get the water from the hydrant to the engine. Now we get all the hoses hooked up. Now we're going to see them charge the line. When I say charge the line, they're going to send water through. And then we're going to try to knock down this tennis Ready for water? Ready. So the firefighter at the end of the hose line said he was ready for the water. So the pump operator is over there. He's sending water now through the hose. You see it starting to charge. I know everybody loves math who's watching this, but this is where math comes in handy because the pump operator has to learn gallons per minute, he has to know friction loss, and all that stuff helps. So anyone who doesn't really care for math, this is one place where it helps. Now the firefighter is able to control the hose line, and that hole with the, with the tennis ball on top of it is a simulated house that might be on fire. We'll walk back this way and we'll see what they're doing at the, at the pump panel. You can hear the engine getting louder and louder. That's because it's pushing more water through the hose line. The firefighters are working as a team to get water from the hydrant into the hose. Now you can see the firefighter, he's going to send water through the hose. He's charging the line, so he's sending the water through the big yellow hose here. firefighter just charged the hose line. So now all the water in the hose line is feeding the engine. We can see how much water is coming out of the hose line. Thanks for joining us today at our training. My name is Captain Rob Reardon. See you soon.